Hey guys, we are uh, well into school holidays um, here, as you would probably know, and so I'm trying to fit in a quick Facebook Live in between um, workouts and kids in the pool and school holidays and the last minute Christmas shopping, which I think I might have just nailed today. So here's hoping that I've done it all and I don't um, wake up tomorrow with remembering a present I didn't get. But what I wanted to just jump online and um, talk about today was about transformation because I've been reflecting on the year of 2020 and what it's meant for some people, um, or a lot of people really, because you know, more so than ever has been before. I think that we've seen so many more businesses um, pivot, whether they needed to, decided to, wanted to, or took it as an opportunity to. Um, there's been, you know, a huge amount of businesses who have, or business owners who have um, needed to pivot or have decided to pivot this year. And what that means is it's not just about pivoting. And, you know, I think a lot of people say, oh, you know, you pivot here and it's all happy days and off we go into a new direction. But whenever we make a, a really significant change and, and something that, you know, you're really putting a lot of effort in to change your business, to change the makeup of your business, that is a, a full transformation. And transformations are never easy. Um, you know, you look at something like, I love to think of the analogy of a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And in order to be able to turn into a butterfly, a caterpillar goes into a cocoon and turns its whole body into mush. It literally decomposes everything and then rebuilds it from scratch. So it's not an easy process. You know, it doesn't take one minute, it takes them a couple of weeks. Um, but in our lives, which are way, way longer than a caterpillar and butterfly's lives, it can take months and months. And I, have seen I've, I've helped a lot of clients go through some some big changes some huge deep strategy work this year and it has been hard you know there's been tears there's been doubts there's been fear there's been those moments of I guess just frustration where you know you think that you're doing something to get somewhere and you feel like you're getting nowhere you're bashing your head against a brick wall and it's feeling really hard um, and you feel like giving up, but I just want to say, if that's been you, you are almost there. Keep going, because the transformation isn't meant to be easy. It never has been, never will be. When you're really, truly transforming, when you're really changing something significant in your business, like your business model, your revenue, um, you know, maybe you're changing your who your clientele is, your services, it's not something you can just flick a switch on and expect it all to happen overnight and it be happy and you know we continue. Um, hopefully you feel happy but you know I want you to be realistic and that this process it will have moments where it feels really hard and that's okay it's meant to feel hard. Um, you will come out of it and you'll be bigger and better and more beautiful than ever before just like a butterfly. So Please um, take heart if you are still in that transformational phase where you, you're doing the strategy work or you've done the strategy and you're not seeing the results yet. Keep going. You are almost there. And trust me, when you are through to the other side, you will be so, so happy that you did keep going um, and that you didn't give up. This is, you know, often I think when businesses or people decide to end their business is when it's feeling too hard and when they feel like they're up against a brick wall. But trust me when I say there's always a way, you just need to find the way and you know, keep going, you trust in the process, believe in yourself. You've got through it. If you're in that bit where it's feeling really hard, it's because you're right in the thick of it. And all you need to do is give yourself that time to get through it and to move on to the next phase. So don't lose heart, um, you're almost there. Keep on going and you know we're looking ahead. We've got a, a new year starting, but I'm not gonna come out and say 21 is gonna be hugely different. You know, the whole world will be different because COVID won't be there because you know it looks like it is gonna be there. So you know this is really up to you. It's up to how you approach it. It's up to the way that you want to choose to, to operate. 
And there is opportunities everywhere for the taking. It's just that, you know, yes, it may take a bit of a transformation to take on those opportunities that you see or to take on a opportunity. Don't over, overkill yourself with too many different things at once, but that's okay. It might be hard in the beginning, but you know, make your decision, have confidence in it, believe in yourself and get out there and do it. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what we achieve in 2021 and what we bring to it. I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, um, a relaxing time with your family and hopefully some form of holiday, whether it's holidaying at home or holidaying somewhere local. Um, you know, please take that time to ha give yourself a break. Um, and you know, often the best thoughts uh, come to you when you are relaxed. So I know that if that's been something you're struggling with with your your strategy, and it's you know felt hard at times, that giving yourself a break now may actually just help those pieces fall into place for you. Um, that's it from me. So I you won't see me live again until after Christmas. I may pop out next week for one last one just before the end of the year. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me live on my page every week this year. It's been awesome, awesome, awesome to see you. And um, I really appreciate you being here. So thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, bye for now.